Hi, I'm here to show you the latest environmental impacts. This is the result of a collaboration between Monsoon Zim and Deakin University. So here we go. I've set up a course and I put it in my course and I call it environmental impact. And here are the modules turned on. And it says here that this is to expose learners to the concept of the impacts. Production logistics will have the impacts and learners will strike a balance between corporate bottom line and earth sustainability. And I have set here, the scoring metrics will be overall pollution index, 30%, net profit and gross profit margin. You are free to change this and save as your own configuration. And I will also post this in the default so that everyone can use it. All right, so here we go. So I have loaded this game. And then what I've done is I have then set up a few teams, Team Human, RSIM, Team Robot3, JohnBot, Robot2, LinBot, Robot1, AnyBot. So these three robots will be operating and this will be just a passive learner. And I have let it run for 40 days. Now, let's take a look at the settings. When you load these parameters or this course, you will see that the environmental impact has been turned to on, yes. Normally, this is default to no. And if you look at the submenu, the first impact is called energy usage. The unit is kilowatt hour. The second impact is called carbon emission and the unit of measurement. And the third impact is waste and the unit of measurement. And the fourth impact has to do with shipment so it's carbon emission related to shipping and that is the unit of measurement you're free to choose this field you are free to edit it and perhaps you can call it plastic or chemical spill or whatever now that we have defined these four impacts let's take a look at the equipment or what we call the machine that has the impact on the environment. So let's take a look at the production. If you look at production, you will see that there are three equipments and now they have an environmental impact spec. And here we go. So for this particular machine, it will have 0 0.001 kilowatt hour per unit produced. And for this machine, it will have 0 0.00042 carbon emission per unit juice produced and so on. So this is, these are the specs for the machines. And of course, every machine has their own different value. So potentially, a more expensive machine will have a better environmental impact, which means that the emission will be lower. And inversely, a cheaper machine may have a worse effect on the environment. So now, let's take a look at the warehouse or the shipping impact. There we go. The shipping environmental impact, it's 0 0.01 carbon emission unit of measurement per kilometer of shipment. Okay, so there we have it. So now I have let the game run for 40 days. So let's take a look at what happened. I'm going to take a look at the observe. The first thing is, so here are the KPI that I've chosen. One, two, three, four, five. And let's take a look one by one. For the carbon emission, Team Human, zero emission because it's not doing any production at all. Team Robot 3, Team Robot 2, Team Robot 1. Now, on the carbon emission, Team Human, once again, 
zero because there's no transaction, no activities in the factory. But notice robot three on the carbon emission, robot two and robot one, and so on. Then there is the most important one, which is the overall environmental, environmental pollution index. And this is the average of all the indexes, a uh, percentage of the overall, which means that all these numbers total up to be 100. So this is in comparison relatively with one another. So here we go. We have 35 plus 37 plus 27 that all add up to 100. So if you are lower, that means you are the least polluting company. And if you're higher, then you are the most polluting company. And notice here, the human is zero. So from here, we can tell that R3 is this one, is doing much better than the other two. And this is the fourth impact, which is the waste. So once again, these are individual impact, carbon emission for shipping, carbon emission for production, energy usage, and impact on the waste. But this is the overall equipment pollution index. This is the most important, and this is also going to be appearing in your scoring metrics. So if we take a look at the scoring metrics, I have set up the following on the environment. I have only one choice, which is overall environmental pollution index. Lower the better. Here's the margin and here's the finance. So if I take a look at the percentage, the pollution index best if it is lower and it takes 30% weightage. Now, based on that, you'll see that the human score the highest because it has the least polluting company whereas these three are more polluting than the human of course but out of these three r3 is better than r2 and r1 therefore it scores higher now in order to show you the impact of maintenance on environment on the machine I have disabled the robots maintenance for these two teams, R2 and R1. So only R3 has set up maintenance on the machine. This is just to prove to you that if you maintain your machine, then your pollution index will be better. Okay, so let's take a look at R3. All right, if you take a look at maintenance asset, the OEE is 100%, except these two machines, which I haven't set up the maintenance. So when you do the maintenance for your machine, you will have least environmental impact compared to the other two teams. They have not done their maintenance, and therefore it is lower, the OEE. Which, which is then reflected here in this chart. Okay, so the conclusion, production affects environment, shipment affects environment. The more maintenance you do on your machine, the better it is for the environment. Thank you.